Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it may be for you today. We are off on a new adventure, but I'm hoping it's not actually too adventurous. Uh, we're going to go pick up the old dump truck. I got the sh call that the shop that has it has got it put back together. They drained all of the fuel out of the system and rebuilt the fuel pump. They're assuring me that the truck is running, but that doesn't mean that the hoist is running. So what well, the problem is I've got the back of it is just full of garbage. And that's got to go before I can do anything else with it. And my worry is, is I'm going to drive that truck down to the transfer station. I'm going to lift that hoist in the air and something is going to explode. And I'm going to be stuck with a truck with a hoist in the air with a line of traffic behind me. So instead of doing that, I'm going to drive the truck down to my own yard. I'm going to dump the load in my own yard. I'm going to check the hydraulics out there where if something happens, I'm not holding other people up. And then I'm going to take that garbage and load it into my sure track trailer and I'm going to haul it then down to the transfer station and get rid of it. It's an additional step, but it just assures that I'm not stuck dead on the side of the road like I was the last time I had an adventure with that truck. So let's just see how this day goes, you guys. Let's go for a ride. Let's have a little bit of fun and we'll just see what happens. Good stuff to the front. Gotta get that repaired. How did that even get in here? I was hoping somebody would be here to give me a ride to go get my dump truck but everybody took off which is good that means they're busy working that also means I'm gonna get busy walking let's not walk all the way over there without remembering our checkbook my daughter made me this checkbook holder when she was like six she's 18 now Hold it up pretty good. Duct tape lasts a long time, especially when it has the Superman logo on it, right? Oh, uh, little things that make you smile. Yep, I think those are the important things. Corny dirt monkey, you're so corny. Yes, I am. Yes, I am.
Sometimes going for a walk isn't so bad. Oh, that doesn't look like a fun job, dude. Do you guys gotta go down this whole road and do that? Seriously? That's a lot of work, man. Good luck to you. Wow. You'd think they'd have a faster way of doing that. Well, he's got one too. You guys don't have an air chisel or something you can get in there? Oh, I'll say so, man. Hmm. Oh, these guys need knee pads. Now I sound like you guys. Howdy. You need knee pads, you need a back brace, you need respirators, all this stuff. No, you need to get a job done. On, our, on my old red truck, the box is heated to keep that asphalt, that hot mix hot. Howdy. So, I'm, what I was saying on my red truck, I used to haul hot mix way back in the day and I'd have a diverter on the exhaust. So the exhaust, if the dump body was here, the exhaust, you could flip a switch. Instead of it going out through the exhaust, it would actually go through the box of the truck. And what that did is that helped get snow out of your box. And it also helped to keep the hot mix just a little bit hotter. Those were the two good things. The bad things is it wrecks the box of your truck because all of that hot exhaust going through there has moisture in it. And then it condensates. And then now it's inside of your box and with it being hollow you're not getting it out very easily so it's not a perfect scenario i'd never do it again i'd never buy one of those again because they don't pay you extra so when you're hauling uh, as a subcontractor in a dump truck in my view if they're not paying you extra for these extra things because that diverter wasn't free then why do it it's just that some job sites require you to have it so you could work and back in the day i just put it on because i thought it may come in handy and never did it's just a complete waste okay one thing i'm noticing so look at this little john deere mini excavator this is actually an XL Energy's piece of equipment. And if you look over there, that's what that's that company, that's their public utility. They also use John Deere backhoes. So around these neck of the woods, you'll kind of find a mishmash, but in your neck of the woods, are there, is there a certain brand name that the municip municipalities are using? Because it used to be Case. Back in the day, everything was case. Everywhere I looked, I just seen case, case, case. I see my old dump truck right there. We're getting close. Um, but now it seems to be John Deere. So I'm wondering what you guys are finding out there. Ha, ah, it looks like my trees have grown even more out of there. That's pure itchweed right there. You touch that, your skin will be on fire. There's weeds growing out the side. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that one. That that little sucker, he deserves to live, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you can grow there. You deserve a chance, right? <laughs> All right. What is your guess on the repair? Okay, so let's go over what they did. But first off, they re removed and rebuilt the fuel pump. They replaced the main fuel line and then they flushed out all of that old kerosene that was in the tank and put 25 to 30 gallons of diesel fuel in her. So what do you think the repair cost of that was? 
and here it is the the parts was eight hundred and twelve dollars labor was eight hours it says eight hours so that's a thousand bucks fuel was ninety nine dollars fuel disposal was two hundred dollars so the grand schmack in total was two thousand one hundred sixty nine dollars and eighty three cents so there you go if that's what you guessed let me know where I got to send you free cake and ice cream to. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. It might melt before you get there. Hi, old girl. I'm home. No wasps in here. No wasps. Smells like somebody took a crap in here about 10 years ago and left it, but no wasps. Oh, 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 look at that. That's so pretty. Mmm, baby. This truck runs what's called, I believe it's a 290 Cummings. And if you guys wonder why I like Cummings so much, it all starts with this truck. This is the one that launched my business and that engine never failed me and still to this day has never given me a problem, not one. Hey you. Are you gonna live in my jump? Oh, there's a couple of you. Oh, hi you guys. Okay, well, this is gonna be a shorter video than I thought because there ain't no drive shaft. <laughs> yeah, you ain't, you ain't getting too far that way, man. Where is it? Is it even down there? I don't think the guy, when he towed it, put the drive shaft back in. I thought he just hung it up. He changed, didn't he? Yeah, there's no drive shaft. Yeah, but I thought, did it flop out? Possibly, because it was hung up with chains, wasn't it? And he didn't reset the brakes. Yeah, you're getting too uh like that. You need to possibly throw off on the road somewhere? I didn't see any drive shaft that oh, here. It right oh, here. There it is. What the heck? Oh, it probably spit it off of there when you tried to move. Huh. Well, I'll get it back on there for you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, sometime today. Okay. Um, yeah, and it sounds like the brakes aren't set. I think you could just double check it so when I'm going down, I'm, I'm, I'll am I'm, i be able to stop. You hear that air leak on it? Yeah, something leaking air. I'll just make sure they work when you move it. All right. Yeah, it ain't going far. Well, yeah. it will be going far though eventually. So I'm gonna brakes, or you're gonna get it towed up there. No, I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna license it as a farm truck and drive it up there and use it. All right. Well, I'll clean this thing up and all. There's a seal on the shaft still, Scott. Hmm. Actually, there isn't. Where did that go? I just seen that. All right, thanks, Scott. Plan B, always an adventure. So it became pretty clear that when Twin City Recovery stuck the driveline back on, they didn't stick it all the way back on. And I didn't stick around afterward to double check their work. So who's responsible for that? Is it my job because I didn't, and this happened three weeks ago, four weeks ago or so. So it's one of those things where I could call them up and let them know. I probably should call them up and let them know not to complain, but just so as a company, they can make sure that they're operators are getting everything taken care of because if that happened to somebody else that wouldn't be a, a very good scenario for them so 
kind of feel like I better let them know what the heck is going on. But while I'm down here at the yard, I got to find a parking spot. And like any normal landscaping company, our yard fills up with all these good materials that we just can't throw away. All right, you guys, well, that's going to call it for today's episode. But on the next one, here's a little bit of a sneak peek. Black Betty, our Rhino Lion skid loader. Have a good day. Just out of nowhere, this machine has started to act up. We're going to try to find out what the heck is going on with it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, we've got more dump truck adventures coming down the pipeline. <sighs> Yes, adventures. I promise you, yes. That's it for today. God bless. Go get them, you guys.